Uh, excuse me. Are we getting individual feedback, yes? You uh, honestly want to know what I think about Marcus? Yes. Yeah, he's just got a real turd of a personality. You know, but you two seem like a couple of wet blankets as well. Couldn't you just find a sanctuary in a different part of the store? That seems easier than lashing out. Does everyone hear him the way I do? The grating tone? That's gonna be fatal in a job interview, bud. And Marcus is like, at the risk of being a permanent virgin, don't you think you should come clean and tell Miles it wasn't Devin's fault? I don't know, I feel like the moral compass is thumbs down on this one. Yeah, and I feel like I'm pretty thumbs down on you, Marcus. I can juggle four balls. Make that five. I also think it's magic. You just keep getting worse. Uh, at the risk of being contrary, haven't you already dated in Toledo? Doesn't your high school ex-girlfriend live here? Oh, look, it's you. Wonderful. Good to see you, Marcus. Yes. Now, I'm going to ask you guys for something that I feel almost certain doesn't actually exist. Fun things to do in Toledo. It's for a potential hangout with Lynette. So like a date? Excellent riddle, troll. It is like a date. I was just at the bagel shop, and I ran into my ex, Meredith. I see me run into her a lot. It's kind of bordering on stalking. Marcus, you'd be lucky to have someone stalking you. You could split a pad thai and a sparkling wine. That's what I do with my college girlfriend. Hmm. I wouldn't call the soft inner lining of a Duke sweatshirt a girlfriend. <laughs> We're meeting for dinner tonight at Mancy's. Mancy's is very romantic. I took Sarah, my college girlfriend, there. Oh, you gave her a name. Nice. OK, everyone shut up immediately. Today? Starting a new revenge mission. Our target? Boom. Oy vey. Uh, at the risk of incurring your wrath. Marcus, go stick your hand in the windowsill. Dan, slam the window down on it as hard as you can. OK, you know I can't do that, Mr. G. Marissa, slap Marcus. Mm. Anthony, slap Marcus. I don't want to get up. Anyone, uh, can anyone please slam Marcus's fingers into the windowsill? Maybe I could. Looks like you guys have reached your tipping point. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Whoopsie. <laughs> Marcus, I know where you live. I retract my whoopsie. Gotta get you out of here somehow. Okay, maybe I stuff you guys all in boxes? Maybe? Mr. Well, Griffin, hear us out. No, Marcus, he won't listen if it's you. That's true. Winter break's coming up just in time, huh, Mr. Griffin? A little respite from the doldrums? Do not engage me in small talk. You're looking for my analysis of oh, the I'm situation? Not. All right, shut up, Marcus, shut up, let me think. Uh, Marcus, shut up, it's, it's, it's a solid plan. Guys, I can't be the only one who cuts him off. Marcus, face down. All right, well, Zam Zaddy, if cash is what you need, Caspi would love to get down on her private tutoring sash. Ugh. Hey, Heather, give me a hot one. Yeah. <clears throat> if Marcus was a shoe, he'd be an UG. So I'd get to hug Rachel Ray's feet all day? Well, uh, yummo. Ooh. You grow each day. Just ask your fingernails. Yeah, well, of course it sounds terrible when Marcus reads it. As much as it devastates me to say this, Marcus, good job. Namaste. Oh! Oh, don't do that. That is just the worst. Last night, everything changed. But don't take it from me. Take it from. Oh. <sighs> mayonnaise! Oh. So that is 128 ounces of mayonnaise. Well, I guess I gotta at least make an appearance, you know? Especially since I need his help moving my new fridge in tomorrow. Uh, let's see, Sarika, make a list of reasons to leave Durbin's stupid party early. All right, everybody call out those reasons again. Uh, there's the drug one, the Jewish oh, one. Just... Yes, this guy gets it. All right, keep going, keep going. You guys seeing this? All right, now make a left. Wait, just go all the way down the hall. All the way down? It's my understanding that an academic chair is more admin work than actual student time. I'll miss you least of all, Scarecrow. All right, everybody, get out your lunches. Quickly, come on, let's go. My local bagel shop decided to take the morning off, so I'm starving. Come on, I need to see what mommy packed. Feeling a little hangry, huh? No, 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 no. That, that, that is such an annoying word. Don't, don't do that, OK? Back of the class, Marcus. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Go, now. I just, I can't, 
can't do it with you today, man. Too hungry. <sighs> nah, that's not gonna work. Turn your desk around. I can't, I can't look at your face. I just can't. Angry means horny and angry. Basically, you're so horny that you're angry. All right, that's still not working for me. Uh, you see a leak right there? I'm trying to get you under that leak. All right, get your body under that leak. Not the desk, your body. Oh, 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 that's perfect. There we go.